Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back. Let me get a little hello, hello. Make sure everyone's wide awake. Good to see you, Grant. Good to see you, Bonnie. Everyone, good to see you, Chuck. All right, good, good. Good to see all Cyber Traders and welcome new Cyber Traders. Welcome to the Cyber Group uh, Trading Room. Hopefully, on everyone is uh, <laughs> okay after after Easter yesterday. I'll tell you, it was. Um, very interesting uh, Easter for all of us. I don't know about you, but uh, you know, a couple of things uh, was pretty interesting. I made lamb chops uh, in a balsamic reduction with grilled fennel and potatoes. I don't know what you guys made, but it came out really good. I'll share it on my Instagram. You know, my, my two biggest hobbies is gardening and cooking. So uh, someone said I missed my calling. I'm like, eh, you know what? I like trading better, but we'll go out there and share it. One of your favorites, Ken? Yeah, it was pretty, came out pretty good. I'll send you guys the recipe. I mean, I'll post it on my YouTube channel. I think you guys will like it. But, um, but yeah, it was, you know, it was quiet. It was just me and the family, you know, me and the kids. I think we spoke to them more in, uh, you know, that Easter, you know, that Easter all day than uh, we spoke to them, you know, being locked up in our house with the coronavirus and stuff like that. But it feels like Groundhog's Day. Every day is a new day, a totally new day. <laughs> it's like, what are, we doing to my, what are we doing today? Same thing we did yesterday. So pretty interesting, but the market's been pretty good. I did a couple of posts uh, on my Instagram. I don't know if you guys saw it. It's gonna be. This is a really big, big week, by the way. Really big week. Uh, banks are coming out with it. I personally think the banks are gonna do great. They're very well financed. So that will kind of. You got to remember, companies are out of business after three months, and people are like, how is that possible? Because they have to report every three months. And you know what? If they don't have earnings, it's it's. I don't think it's gonna really be about the earnings of this week. Uh, with the report, it's what they project three week, three uh, uh, three months from now. I apologize, three months, not three weeks. Uh, but anyway, getting back to the coronavirus thing, um, you know, guys, you know, we're like a really tight family over here, and you know that, that you know we we're very very close. A lot of you guys met here, you know, for the on site and everything, and you know we all have our ups, we'll have our downs, you know, you know, and we always like to share it because it kind of helps us more of a a support group, but. You know, like to uh, my condolences to Wayne. Just lost um, lost his mom due to the coronavirus, and uh, really sorry about that, Wayne. You know, listen, we only have one mom, and uh, you know, she'll always be in your heart. You know, yesterday when I was making Easter, uh, I cooked one of her famous. Uh, they're called uh, pignolatas in Italian. They're basically honey balls. You probably see them in Italian bakeries. I just took a picture, you know, um, that I that I had of her, you know, smiling. It's one of the pictures I. I used uh, for, you know, it's one of my favorite pictures of her. And I just kept it next to her. So just listen, she's always going to be in your heart. I know it's very tough. Uh, my mom died two years ago. My dad died a year. a year. Uh, so I lost both my parents just recently. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a really tough time for a lot of us, this whole coronavirus thing. And like I said, my condolences, Wayne. Sorry about that. And, uh, you know, like I said, let's just try to stick together and, you know, and support each other but we love you wayne all right guys uh, now regarding about uh, about getting back into trading uh and see what's going on this week it's going to be you know listen uh, we're doing pretty well you know here in the market the market's doing you know there's been some really really good pops in a lot of stocks uh airlines are obviously doing well again you know i, I think we're gonna you know, oh, this is my problem i think we're gonna have a lot of volatility going up for the next 12 to 18 months so for some of us here, you know, depending how long this thing drags out, which I really hope it doesn't, um, and I think a lot of us feel the same way, and I think the whole thing is about if a lot of us do social distancing, I think, you know, this will go away faster, but I think it's going to affect us going up for the next 10 to 20 years. I mean, some of you remember 9-11, and today's times, people don't even know what it is, and they don't really, you know, really care as much. As in, like the younger generation, because they weren't there, they weren't involved in it. It's not, it's not their fault. They just were never there. And I think us, a lot of us dealing with now, this is a world academic, academic uh, regarding about what happened. I, I think it's gonna it's gonna be around for a while, and I think it's gonna make the market extremely volatile. You know, um, new drugs gonna come out. I think it, we're gonna have a new cycle of something. If it's not the you know the Corona stocks. You know, as in the pharmaceutical stocks took off, and then the market crash, and it was brand names, and then it was the airlines, and you know, I think there's going to be new things that are going to uh, make the market extremely volatile. The banks may, may be profiting from it. Somebody's going to make. Listen, somebody's going to make a lot of money off this, and we all know it. 
And there's going to be a lot of great entrepreneurs out there. And it's going to be, I think they could be close to 20 to 50 new companies that are going to explode uh, from it. And I think there's going to be, you know, hundreds are going to go out of business because of it. So, you know, remember guys, this is something that I kind of preached for a while. And I always said this for a long time. Unfortunately, in our business, we're in the trading business. And, you know, we, we just got to look at what's best for ourselves. So, you know, I, I know sometimes it's sad. Sometimes it's exciting. But you know what? We have to trade the market. And there's great opportunities out there. So we just got to capitalize on it. So this week, just to kind of let you guys know, it's going to be a really big, big week. Now, you know, I'm not too crazy coming back from a day after a major holiday like Passover and like Easter and stuff like that. Kids were off this whole week. Um, actually, last week they were off. So imagine this is we didn't have this problem. Kids are coming back from vacation, spring break, everything. So usually this always ends up being a bad day, especially what's going on this week. There's something, you know what, you're not hearing too much about it. But does everybody also know what, what's this week? What's coming up this week? No. <laughs> it's tax season. People forgot about tax season. And they expanded it. Uh, they extended it. So anyway, that also, <laughs> no one's like, yeah, it's right. It's been delayed. I know, exactly. But regardless, this is also makes it historically a very slow week. People not worrying about trading the market. But you know what? It is. Um, it's going to be volatile. So we got a lot of big things that are coming out this week. So we're going to have a lot of fun here in the Cyber Group Room. So if you're new for Cyber Trade University, welcome aboard. Welcome to the family. And, um, you know, and uh, like I said, just uh, if, you, if you're a new trial member, just like I said, just look, listen, and learn. You know, this is the oldest online trading room in existence. You know, I, I started, I was the first one who started it. And you'll see why it is. But I just always like to just tell everyone, it's not for everybody. Uh, so just, just look, listen, and learn. Now, regarding about what's going on this morning, Guys, there were a lot of stocks that were moving this morning in my watch list. And, you know, I don't want to go, you can't trade them all, right? And guess what? A lot of them did pop up out of nowhere, but works, okay? Uh, WORX, up 170%. This stock uh, did an 8 o'clock move this morning, went, actually went all the way up to about over $9. Now it backed off. I want you to keep an eye on this stock because she's really holding here really strong at this support levels. And, uh, you know, actually, I took it off. Shoot. Got to put it on my, uh, my level four uh, execution system to see the orders. Now, if you go over here, you could see that there are a lot of orders right here coming in. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. My projection got shut off. Hold on. Let me turn it back on. So, oh, let me just give me a second. There we go. All right. So right here, you could see the stock had obviously trended down right here, and um, and then all of a sudden, you got some big resistance levels right here. She's trying to go up. I don't see too many buyers, but we got to break through this resistance of 260. See what uh, the 624. If it breaks through those big iceberg orders, then we'll consider it probably go higher. But um, looks like she's holding here pretty strong right here at these resistance levels right here. But I want to keep an eye on that one. So that one's looking pretty good. But the airlines, they're doing great. I mean, you can see the airlines are obviously, let me just fix the time frame here. They actually are, are trading pretty strong. I mean, not, not crazy. I mean, you're talking about, I don't know, 2.8. I mean, it's up 3%. That's not, I mean, it's not crazy. But you know what? If you look at the long-term chart, I mean, they are moving. They are moving. JetBlue is on the watch list. Careful of this one. This thing trades with guys. Guys got the stock's got a big spread. Just got to be careful of this one. Saves up pretty decently, up seven percent, up a little bit more. But you see that they're trading at the highs. Delta, you know, obviously up three percent. But um, but as you know, and obviously um, doing pretty damn well on that Boeing, you know, trade right there. By the way, if it, if this stock could break out, and make a higher high, that's all that matters with this stock. Okay. Uh, ben already made up 15 cents on that work. That's a good way to start the morning. You. Always like to pop that one early. All right, so regarding about some other stocks, obviously not with the brand name, with the Corona stocks. I mean, listen, CANF is up about 60%, but she started backing off again. Nice little cheapy. Now she's down to 70, uh, um, 
48, 49%. Good spread, got good volume. You know, I was looking at the orders out here. There's an 18,000 share buyer right here around 210. Kind of built that support. That's why she went up, and this guy's gone right here. But stock's obviously looking pretty good right there. You know, that one's got some good volatility, holding pretty strong. Which, once again, we're past our 9 o'clock, right? So we got to wait and see what happens after 9 o'clock. All right. So after 9 o'clock, just fixing my mic over here for you guys. All right, so we got that one. Uh, ICD is another one that came up on the watch list. This one looks a little bit better. She's got a little bit of a push. She just popped right now up 47%. Look at that long-term chart. Now, you guys remember this stock. Let me just go back because this is a stock that we trade on Friday. This stock ran from $3 all the way to 13 And remember, go back to your drawing board on your, on, your, on your journal. See how you traded it. Remember, this stock is pretty damn volatile, but she's moving again. Because guess what? The stock came right back down. Remember we, always, remember we always teach you in class. You got to take the money and run, okay? Don't get greedy. Yeah, the stock went from 4 to 20. I could have made myself, you know, 13. I could have made myself six, seven, several different points. Could have made several thousand dollars. Yeah, and you know what? You could have got suckered in at 12 and wrote a thing down to 6 and lost 6,000. That's not how we trade here. Remember, it's all about making a day's pay. But that one also is actually uh, very important. You got to go back to your journals and see how you traded it on Friday, if you were here on Friday. Another one that's moving pretty decent, spreads a little big right now, 24%, 400,000 shares. Stock is breaking a new high right here. You can see it right here. Uh, we traded this stock not too long ago, but this one's also moving pretty nicely. Good iceberg orders, good volume. You can see right here on the matrix, you got some, eh, not too crazy iceberg orders, but you got some decent orders out there. And then last, the PSTI. That one, ah, dropped down to 19. That one's gapped up pretty nicely. I thought that one was moving pretty nice, but she went from 920 down to $8. It's a pretty big drop right there. She's moving, you know, another pretty big spread right here. Uh, there are a couple other stocks that are coming out of the woodworks uh, right here on the, if you look right here on the, on the watch list, on the hot list. The only thing is some of these stocks in here were penny stocks. You know, I don't know the fan train stocks under a dollar. You don't have any, it's very hard to see tier sizes, tenths of a spread, kind of hurts it. There's no really good losers out there other than AMC. I, I'm telling you, I don't know how AMC is going to survive. Uh, and I can see the stock making. <laughs> it breaks through this major support level, which is testing right now. The stock is finished. This could be below the dollars. I mean, I don't think anyone's going to be going to the movies anytime soon with the whole coronavirus. I don't know how they're surviving unless they have something else. If somebody goes to the movies, they're, they're, they're done. But other than that, these stocks are getting crushed. Uh, so don't try to pick bottoms on these. Listen. The big thing is this, we're traders. Traders, we got to trade the market. Don't have any, you know, don't don't have any remorse over some of these stocks. Um it's just an, you know, there's so many of this 25,000 in the trade and you know, sometimes you got to move on trade something else, but you know, we got a big week this week with earnings and you know, everyone was always prepared for the April 25th. Oh, and by the way, let me just kind of remind somebody about the the whole thing about April 25th. Don't think April 25th just because it's extended doesn't mean that, you know, people's not getting their taxes done. Um, a lot of companies, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of companies, small businesses, want to do, you know, got extensions and need that April, need to get their taxes in so they can get that stimulus package. So I don't know if you guys know about that. So don't think that, you know, April 25th, does, April 15th doesn't mean anything. No, it does actually means more now than ever because a lot of people want that stimulus package and they're forcing accountants to get things done. So they can they can file their taxes so they could say that they didn't make enough money so they can get their stimulus package. You know, so if someone's who really, really needs it are filing it. So don't don't underestimate that. So I think it's still gonna be a volatile week. But anyway, April fifteenth, yes, Bonnie. Well, because they want to get their taxes finished so they can they can you know, they can claim and show how much money they made due to the so they could apply for the PPP program. So anyway, uh, AMC had multiple spikes since uh the seven. I know, but Benito, just like I said, there's people out there trying to find the bottom of that stock, and you can't trade the bottom of that stock. You could trade the bottom on some other brand name, big major corporations, but I don't know too much about that. I don't think, you know, I never traded before, and I know we traded it just, you know, just to make a day's trade, but, you know, a lot of people looking at these opportunities of looking at some stocks and thinking that they could buy it and think now all of a sudden it could be a long term trade, and it doesn't really work that way. 
uh, especially in this type of environment that we're having. Remember, we're not we're not out of the woods. This is not like, you know, a blackout and they turn the lights on. You know, it's going to be around for a while. But anyway, guys, good luck today. Happy trading. If you're new here to Cyber Trade University, just want to address something. I know it's your first day on the job. Um, this is the time to change your future now. If you're listening, um, please make sure you talk to Education Advisor. If you do not talk to your Education Advisor, don't get ticked off at us because we just won't let you in the room. You have to know what's going on. We have to know who you are. This is a serious room. This is not every Tom, Dick, and Harry that's in the room with a thousand traders. You know, we don't want thousand traders in our room because you know what? We were, you know, it's just you're not going to learn anything. All right. So please make sure you talk to Education Advisor uh, if you haven't done so already. Make sure you email him, contact him. It's on your dashboard. You got the name right there. And then in the meantime, cyber traders, look, listen. You know, if you see something, say something. All right. It's a, it's a new brand new week. Let's go out there and. Uh, you know, make it like uh, <laughs> like every other week. Another exciting day here in the Cyber Group room. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.